Hello YouTube. I am Amagi and before we dive in, let me show you something intriguing. Here is an artwork I created a few months ago. As it plays, you will notice the leaves fall seamlessly. I'll pause for a few seconds so you can take a closer look. See how smoothly it flows. Now before I explain how I achieved this, let me show you another artwork of mine. In this one both the clothes and leaves fall sim move seamlessly as well. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how I made the leaves fall seamlessly using blender. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I have flower petals ready for this animation. If you need them, I will include a link in the description for you to download. First, let's set the petals aside so we can focus on the animation. We will start by adding a plane which we, we will use as an emitter for our animation. Make sure to position it so the rose petals flow through the camera view. Like this. Now let's add a particle system and name it Falling Leaves. We need to make some adjustment to the particle to this particle system. The emission number is fine, but uh, we need to change the end frame value to 300 and the lifetime value to 300 as well. The velocity value is good, so no changes are needed there. We also need to enable rotation but first let's adjust the render setting. Change the render value to collection and select the rows collection for the instance collection value. If you named your particle collection differently just use your specific name. You might notice here that the emitter is in the rows collection so we need to move the emitter to a different collection other than the particle collection. Everything looks good so far and there are no further changes needed for now. Finally, let's rename the falling leaves, falling leaves to falling leaves one because we need to add another particle system to make this animation loop seamlessly. We have a bit of an issue here. The particles are falling from the wrong side and downwards. So we need to adjust the orientation of the meter and set the gravity value to 0.
now let's enable rotation and change the randomize value to 1 phase value to 1 and randomize phase value to 2 Next we need to add wind and turbulence to push the particles further. Experiment with the strength value of the wind force field to find out what works best for you. Now let's move on to the turbulence force field and tweak its strength and size values. Adjust the settings until the particles fill the screen as desired. change the scale value because it's too big it's looking good so far i will continue adjusting the wind strength and turbulence strength values a bit more Now it's a good idea to save this file. Everything looks good so far. Let's move on to looping this simulation. To do this, we need to create another particle system, which we can easily do by duplicating the current one. Click this button to duplicate it because we don't want to affect the first particle system. To loop it, we need to make a small adjustment in this new particle system. Change the start frame to one value greater than the end frame of the first particle system, which will be 301 in my case. Set the end frame to twice the end frame value of the first particle system, which will be 600 for me. Now let's see how it works.
you might notice a bit of seam in the animation and there's a reason for that we have done everything to make it seamless except the baking of the simulation so go to the first simulation then go to catch and bake it do the same for other particle system as well now if you have followed all the steps correctly you should have a seamless looping animation if you encounter any issue feel free to message me through any social media links i have included in the description i'd be happy to help you out if you are interested in purchasing the artwork i showcased at the beginning of this tutorial you can find it on my etsy store I will include a link to my store in the video description. That's the end of the video. Goodbye and happy animating.